Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is not fragrance related so if you're here for fragrance then this is not the video for you. This one's all about why I am choosing to transition to my natural grey hair. So that's what this video is all about. I'm only at the very beginning of my journey to do that but I thought I would share it here with you and give you some of the reasons why I've made this decision. So uh, I've written them down, I've got a bit of paper there with the reasons why I am choosing to go grey. And first of all, reason number one, time. I spend, I've actually done some maths here, and I spend about, this is very approximate, 15 hours in the salon every year getting my roots done and I also drive to the salon and back so that's actually 21 of my hours in a year 21 hours a year just getting to the salon that's based on me going about every two months but my hair now grows back my gray hairs are very stubborn and there's lots of them and they grow back really quick so in between those appointments i have to do it myself otherwise i'd go mental because they really come out quickly so in between i am probably doing my hair myself two or three or maybe even four times so i've worked that out as about 18 hours so all together that's 39 hours a year that I am spending getting my hair done or doing it myself. So that is a bit more than the average working week, a whole week. Imagine that, a whole week just getting my hair done. I mean, it's ridiculous, whole week out of my year. Then, of course, on top of that, you got the cost. So my average cost, uh, I've worked out, is I probably spend about £390 a year in the salon and £117 on home dye products in the year. So that's £507 a year. So as I say, it's all very, very approximate here, uh, just working out some averages. I mean, it could be way off. I could actually be spending more. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, number three reason that I want to go grey is because it's just not fun anymore. I used to get my hair done for fun. I'd get funky colours and do different stuff and sometimes I'd want to go lighter, sometimes I want to go more natural. I've been bright purple and pinks and I've loved all of that but that was when my hair wasn't so grey that I could do it and actually enjoy it for a good month or two and uh, unfortunately I can't really do that anymore because the upkeep with my greys coming through so quickly is just impossible and so all I've been trying to do is just fight my grey hair growth and it's a chore it is not fun anymore I am over it uh, number four reason I want to do it is actually it's out of curiosity and excitement for what it might look like, how it's going to be to grow my hair out and see how it looks. I'm my natural hair. I haven't seen my natural hair since I was probably a teenager because I've always been dyeing it. Uh, number five is uh, to do with the chemicals in the hair dye. It's actually not good for your hair or your scalp. I suffer with some psoriasis on my scalp. Sometimes if my psoriasis is really flared up, when I put dye on my scalp, it burns and stings. Apparently, a lot of people that give up the dye end up getting a lot of hair growth. So actually, they believe the dye is causing them hair loss. So general health of my hair as well, it's very drying and damaging on the hair to keep dyeing it. So I want to stop all of that and have a healthier hair and scalp. Number six, dyed hair now on me at the rate that my growth comes through just doesn't look natural anymore. It doesn't matter how close to my natural color we try and go, the, you can't quite match the salt and pepper nature of my hair. I've still got really dark hair coming through, but lots and lots of whites as well. You can't match that. So no matter what I do, it, as soon as I've got a couple of weeks growth, you can see it and it just doesn't look natural. And I don't like that. 
to number seven when i have finally grown out all my uh, white or gray or whatever it might be hair i'm going to be able to put some some temporary colors on that will actually show up on the white or, or the lighter hair so at the moment i'd have to bleach my hair to be able to get a funky purple or pink to show up and I can't really do that anymore because I have uh, really damaged my hair. I can't put bleach on it because for uh, there is a, a video I did on my hair disaster, my DIY hair disaster that happened during lockdown. Uh, long story short, I did two colour removals and uh, two bleach baths and I absolutely ruined my hair. So there's no way I can bleach it until it's all grown out and I just... I'm not going to do it but with my natural uh, grey or white that comes through I should be able to run a temporary colour through like a pink or a purple and it actually show up which is kind of fun so I'm not necessarily planning to just stay exactly my natural colour but I'm just not going to do a permanent or a semi-permanent dye I'm only ever going to do a temporary one just to add a little bit of fun a pop of colour so I'm excited about that. So what I'm planning to do is redo this video when I'm a bit more experienced in the uh, transition phase. Once I've learnt a little bit more and I'll see if there's anything new that comes to light that I find to be a bonus of going natural. I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on my hair. I found my first grey when I was about 15 or 16 years old I remember it being a bit of a joke and I remember my mum being there and my my friend Debbie and us all kind of laughing and sort of going that's it now Claire you're going grey and uh, but I didn't go grey of course straight away I think I started getting more greys in my 20s and then in my 30s, obviously, it just increased. And I think it was really in my 30s, probably mid 30s, that it got to the point where I really had to keep up the dying. Otherwise, the, the, the growth was too obvious. Um, both my parents went grey really quite early. My dad in particular went grey very, very young. I'm not sure how young now, but probably in his 20s, he went quite grey mum probably late 20s early 30s so it's in the genes and you know what it's actually quite normal and natural and lots of people go grey in their 30s and maybe even earlier in their 20s and there's nothing wrong with it there seems to be this stigma that you have to dye your hair it's in the it's in the media it's in the adverts that you are supposed to cover up your gray hair otherwise you look old well do you know what i'm done with it i'm absolutely done with it and i cannot wait to go natural so i thought i'd just show you my hair here in the car um so you can see so there is a lot of gray there you can just see it there and I'm going to show you in the outside natural light which I actually filmed earlier when I was out for my walk so you'll be able to see it outside in the bright sunlight so this is my hair in the blasting sun it's not blasting it's just very bright uh, so so you can see the color of it how it looks from behind and as you can see there the the greys that come through really strong here and then in the part it's different the way you part it is different so there's more greys at certain parts of my head uh, this parting is not as bad as if I was to lift it up and look in other places but yeah that's um that's my hair in a unforgiving sunlight and i'll probably just show you now it parted in different places because actually it's different like there's not a lot of gray there but you can see it there so you know it's very patchy 
Um, it's not so bad right at the front, although you can see a few little white bits coming through there. Um, so yeah, I'm now going to go and see my hairdresser. He's going to give me a cut and I'll come back. So my hair is done. I am just filming this off the cuff in my bedroom. Sorry about the light. It's now gone 6 p.m. And the light is low. Now we're in autumn time, unfortunately. There's not much light left. So uh, here is my hair. I had about an inch off the length and then some off of the layers. I'm trying to grow the layers out because I get, when it's curly, I get too much bulk up here. So a good cut and also I had a conditioning treatment. So it was a, it's like an Olaplex treatment, but it's the Weller version that they have in the salon. And it seems to really have smoothed the hair and, and really given it some nice condition. So that's nice. You can see there's my roots. So you can see my natural hair is a mixture of dark and what well, it looks like white against the other hair but it, you'll never know i will never know until it actually fully comes out so that is my hair i'm going to be getting it cut regularly just to keep it healthy and i've also got some products to treat it at home i'll probably do a separate video on all the products that i've bought to a try and really get the condition into my hair b uh, hide the greys so i will do that in another video but that's it for today have you transitioned to grey and how do you feel are you happy i do hope that you can support me i feel really positive and excited for what's to come i do know it's going to be there's going to be tough times i do know that but so far I just feel excitement for it. Oh, and I have created an Instagram account that is just going to be dedicated to my transition. So I will link the account in the description below if you want to give me a follow. And, uh, and that's it. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video.